Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 3.2 arithmetic series. 3.2 represents chapter 3, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is the definition of an arithmetic series? An arithmetic series is just the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence okay that is the definition of an arithmetic series so we have that a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus dot 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 plus a plus n minus 3d plus a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 1d is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So over here what we have is if we start from this term and we go to that term, there are precisely n minus 1 terms. But because there's an additional a, in total we have n terms. Okay, so we have n terms over here. Now the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is denoted by s little n. So s little n is equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus dot 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 plus a plus n minus 3d plus a plus n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 1d. Okay, now I want to um, find a formula for sn. How do I do this? Well, what I can do over here is reverse the sum. So if I reverse the sum, so I can write reverse, I'll get something that looks like this. S little n is equal, that becomes my first term. So I've got a plus n minus 1d plus, that becomes my second term, plus, that there becomes my third term, plus dot 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 plus I've got this term plus this term plus this term over here a okay that there becomes my last term now I'm going to play a clever game here I'm going to try and derive a formula for s little n so I'll call the first equation 1 and the second equation 2. The next step is to add equation 1 and equation 2. So Sn plus Sn is 2Sn equal. So I've got this term over here added to this term that becomes 2a plus n minus 1d. Then I've got this term added to this term if I add them together and simplify, I get 2a plus n minus 1 d. Again, right, now if I take this term and I add it to this term, after simplifying, again I get 2a plus n minus 1 d plus dot 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 plus. We now take this term and we add it to this term. After simplifying, we get 2a plus n minus 1 d. The same happens when you add this to this and when you add this to this. So we've got 2a plus n minus 1 d, 2a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, like I was saying before, we have n terms in total. Now, each of the terms over here are 2a plus n minus 1d. Because we've got n terms in total, we can actually factorise this as 2sn equal n lots of 2a plus n minus 1 in brackets d. Okay, so that's beautiful. Now I can divide by 2. So I've got sn equal a half n square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 in bracket d. So this is form 1 of the SN formula 
in other words, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. There's another form that we could use in the exam. So I'm going to take this proof a step further. I can split the inside part of the square bracket as follows. The two way, I can split it into a plus a. Then I've got plus n minus 1 d. Now that a plus n minus 1 d is technically my last term, denoted by L. So we can replace this over here with L, and if we do this, we get Sn equal a half n in brackets A plus L. And that there, ladies and gents, is form 2. Okay? So A represents the first term, D represents the common difference, n is the number of terms, l is the last term. And we see that the nth term, un, of an arithmetic series is just a plus n minus 1 d. So that there is the nth term of the arithmetic series. Okay, so I've derived the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series denoted by s little n, or you could call it sn. There are two different forms, here is form 1, here is form 2. Now form 2 can be used if your arithmetic series includes the last term. The proof of the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is examinable. So you could be asked to prove that sn is equal to this, or sn is equal to this. These are the key facts of 3.2 arithmetic series. I'm going to apply these key facts to exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. Find the sum of the following arithmetic series. Six plus nine plus 12 plus dot 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 plus 51. Firstly, we know that the first term A is equal six. The common difference D is equal plus three. We're adding three each time. N. The number of terms in this arithmetic series is not given, so I can put a question mark there. I need to calculate this. Okay, so, but what I do know is that the nth term is 51. So the nth term is denoted by un. Now un, the nth term of an arithmetic series, is given by a plus n minus 1 d. I'm going to substitute my a and my d into the un formula. So if I do this, I get... 6 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 3. I can simplify this. Okay, so I've got 6 plus 3n minus 3. Take this a step further. We've got 3n plus 3. So the nth term, we can set it equal to 51. 3n plus 3 equal 51. 3n is equal 51 take away 3, which is 48. And so n is equal to 16. So in this arithmetic series, we have 16 terms. So if we're calculating the sum of this, it is denoted by S16, the sum of the first 16 terms of this arithmetic series. Right, now over here, for this series, we are given the last term. We can call that last term L. It is also called UN, the nth term. Okay, since we're given the last term, we can apply form 2, this formula, to quickly calculate S16. If we were to apply form 1, this formula, we will still get the same answer. But it is easier to use form 2. So we've got S16 is equal a half multiplied by 16 in bracket. Um, the A is 6 plus the L, which is 51. Okay, so we can put this into our calculator. And ladies and gents, we get that. S16 is equal to 456. So the sum of the first 16 terms of this arithmetic series is 456. Here is exam style question 2. Find the least number of terms required for the sum of the arithmetic series 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus dot 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 to exceed 1000. I'm going to start by writing down the first term and the common difference. So the first term A is equal 5 and the common difference d is equal each time we're adding 3. 
So common difference is three. Now we don't know the number of terms in this arithmetic series. We can just call it n terms. Now I'm going to work out the sum of the first n terms. And I'm going to set it equal to 1000. So my target is to work out the exact value of n for which the sum is exactly 1000. Then I know that the next term will lead on to the sum exceeding 1000. Okay, so we can apply the SN formula. We have SN equal a half N square bracket 2A plus N minus 1D. So I've gone for form 1 because in this arithmetic series, the last term was not given. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute everything that I know into here. I've got a half N square bracket 2 lots of 5 plus N minus 1 lots of D, which is 3. This must equal 1,000. I can simplify this. So I've got a half n in bracket. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 3n minus 3. Close bracket equal 1,000. Simplify further. So a half n, 3n. 10 minus 3 is positive 7. This must equal 1,000. We can multiply by 2. So we've got 2,000. And then expand that bracket. This gives us 3n squared plus 7n equal to 1,000. Take everything to the left-hand side. And then solve the quadratic equation. So if I solve this equation, I get n equal... 24.679 dot 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 or n equal minus 27.0129 dot 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 okay we can't have a negative number of terms but we can have positive terms but when you look at this very carefully you see that it's a decimal number you can't have decimal number of terms anyways this helps us calculate the number of terms needed for the sum to exceed 1000 so if we include the next term, which is the 25th term, in our sum, we will notice that the sum will exceed 1,000. Okay, so we can conclude now, the sum will exceed 1,000 for 25 terms. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question two. Here is exam style question three. An arithmetic sequence has first term A and common difference D. The sum of the first 12 terms of the sequence is 366. Part A show that 12A plus 66D is equal to 366. So let's have a look at part A. It says the sum of the first 12 terms, so that mathematically is written as S12, is equal to 366. So now we need to calculate S12 using the formula for Sn. So we know that Sn is equal a half n square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d. Now we're not using form 2 because the last term is not given. So as a default, we're going to use form 1. Right, I'll apply the formula. I've got a half multiplied by 12 square bracket 2a plus 12 minus 1 lots of d. This must equal 366. 12 divided by 2 is 6. We have in bracket 2a plus 11d equal 366. Now we can expand the bracket. 6 times 2a is 12a and then 6 times positive 11d. That would give me positive 66d equal to 366. And that there is exactly what we needed in part A. Let's move on to part B. Given also that the eighth term of the sequence is 38, so the eighth term is denoted by u8. So that eighth term is 38. 
write down a second equation in A and D. So we have to apply the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic series. This is A plus N minus 1 D. So I can substitute N equal 8. And if I do this, I get A plus 8 minus 1 D equal 38. Simplify this, which gives me A plus 7 D equal 38. And that there is my second equation in A and D. Right, in part C, find the value of A and D. So we're solving simultaneous equations. My first equation is 12A plus 66D equal 366. My second equation is A plus 7D equal 38. I can multiply the second equation by 12 and this will give me the third equation. So if I do this, I get 12a plus 84d is equal 456, equation 3. So now we can do equation 1, take away equation 3. 12a take away 12a is just 0. So we've got 66d take away 84d. That's minus 18d. Equal 366 take away 456. That would be minus 90. So d is equal minus 90 divided by minus 18. This gives me d equal 5. Now I can substitute d equal 5 into equation 2, for example. So substitute uh, d equal 5 into equation 2. So we've got a plus 7 lots of 5 equal 38. Okay, so that there would be a plus 35 equal 38. And so ladies and gents, a is equal to 3. So we have d equal 5, a equal 3. The common difference is 5 and the first term is 3. So that there completes exam style question 3. Here is exam style question 4. The second, third and fourth terms of an arithmetic sequence are 3k, 4k plus 5 and 7k. k is a constant. Show that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is pn squared, where p is a constant to be found. I'm going to start by writing the second, third and fourth term. So we have 3k, 4k plus 5, 7k. The second term is denoted by u2, the third one u3, and the fourth one u4. An arithmetic sequence has a common difference. So we know that u3 minus u2 is equal u4 minus u3. I can generate an equation involving k. So u3, 4k plus 5, minus u2, 3k, has to equal u4, 7k, minus u3, 4k plus 5. Okay, so what do we have here? 4k minus 3k is just k, plus the 5. This must equal 7k minus 4k minus 5. So k plus 5 is equal 3k minus 5. So if we take the minus 5 to the left and the k to the right, we get 10 equal to k. Hence, 10 divided by 2 is 5. We have that k is equal 5. We can substitute k equal 5 back into the second, third and fourth term. Let's start off with the second term. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 5 is 25. 7 times 5 is 35. Okay, what I now need to do is find the sum of the first n terms and show that it is p n squared. This is my second, this is my third, this is my fourth. If I go one step back, I'll get my first term. But what we notice over here is that the common difference is just plus 10. So from the second term, if I go back to the first term, 
I'll just have to do 15 minus 10, which is 5. So now what I'm trying to calculate is the sum of the first n terms. So Sn equal 5 plus 15 plus 25 plus 35 plus dot 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 n terms. Okay, so over here what we have is A equal 5, D equal 10. I can substitute this into the SN formula, form 1. Form 2 cannot be used because we don't know what the last term is in the series. Okay, so I've got SN equal a half N square bracket, 2 lots of 5 plus N minus 1 lots of D, which is 10. We need to simplify this. So we've got a half n uh, bracket, 2 times 5 is 10, plus expand that bracket, 10n minus 10. Okay, so 10 minus 10 is just 0. We have a half n multiplied by 10n. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the final answer is 5n squared. Okay, so the constant p is equal to 5. That completes exam style question 4. And this teaching video 3.2 arithmetic series. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.